So I think in order to simplify the IMA manual control installation, I'm going to incorporate the joystick into the OBD2 CNC device that avoids having to run a cable from the back to the front for either the video or the joystick itself and uh, it becomes more plug and play certainly from the front end because you just obviously plug this into the OBD port uh, and also it, it, the uh, having the OBD CNC involved obviously gives you access to all the information that that can display anyway which we'll have seen from the other thread but it also allows this to do a lot of the pre-calculation stuff if you like for the joystick so it can work out what the joystick axis is uh, it can also do things like the safety checks the brake and clutch checks because this is getting all that information anyway from the fcan line as it is uh, so it can do all the sort of checks that we need on the um, ima control requests before it finally sends a simple packet to the ima can device at the back of the car in the IMA CAN harness which will just sit there listening for its own unique ID and that will then respond accordingly and override the IMA as we see fit. So this gives us a lot of opportunity to, uh, it's, it's quite straightforward for me to program this, I can add the functionality of the joystick in very easily and then we have a much simpler device at the back. We don't have to have video, it doesn't have to have joystick input uh, so the device at the back can be smaller and uh, simpler. So to to um, sort of splice that into the harness, where the uh, IMA um, unit is in the back there, there's a big harness which comes out and it goes under the uh, subwoofer on the left hand side and that's where it connects into the IMA or the main car harness. So what we'll do is we'll just um, remove the covering from that cable um, for about six inches of that cable from this connector to the IMA and we'll splice in there and to do that we're just going to use simple cheap RJ45 connector. Uh, like this uh, this will be the device end and this will be the end of the other end you just cut one of these in half and you get what we get is we get four twisted pairs in each of these rj45 network connectors these are obviously very cheap excuse me <coughs> excuse me uh, and there's millions of these around that gives us nice twisted pairs so for instance i am a can in i am a can out F can in for the control signals from the OBD2 CNC and power and ground and that's all we need. So we're just going to have one connector on our, our IMA manual control board which will sit in the back next to the cable which we've just spliced into. Uh, so obviously that will plug into the IMA uh, control slave uh, device at the back. Now if for, it, for whatever reason it goes wrong or you don't want it or anything like that then obviously you can just unplug this but obviously the IMA can, can line is interrupted. So we're just going to give you one of these, which is basically an RJ45 socket where we've soldered the pins together for the IMA CAN. So you just plug that on there and then the car is back to normal OEM mode. So uh, that's very simple to return the car to OEM. So you just plug that on there and away you go back to OEM. Uh, and obviously just plug it into the IMA CAN module, uh, it'll be very easy. So basically the IMA CAN module will sit at the back, just a dumb slave. And it will just listen for commands uh, and instructions from the uh, OBD2 CNC device at the front, which will do all the work. That will do all the checking, uh, as I've mentioned. That will do all the uh, safety checks, and it will do all the interrogation of the joystick, which will be connected to it. And then basically, you uh, it will just send a signal to the slave at the back, and the slave at the back will then act accordingly and override the IMA as we've decided so this should make it uh, all uh, a lot simpler certainly from the IMA uh, device at the back point of view it we should be able to have a much smaller device uh, and simpler lower component count etc which should make it easier to lay out and get manufactured and it'll just have one connector on the board which will be an RJ45 and that will be it